News for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, musers? John with Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code, and welcome to the weekly update for the week of January 29th through February 4th. Uh, February 4th is today, so from Monday through Sunday, I'm gonna go over everything that I've done in the past week. So the first thing I'm gonna go over is the restaurant template. So I released the restaurant template this week. Uh, the second thing is the Muse Motion update, and the third thing I'll go over is the sliding down parallax menu documentation that I've included with the Muse Motion update. So I'll go ahead and showcase the restaurant template really quick. So I'll go here into Google Chrome and I'll go to museforyoushop.com. And here you can click subscribe today and here you can click subscribe now to get access to all widgets and templates I come out with for 39 a year. And if we scroll down here, we have the restaurant template. So I'll go ahead and click and here you can click add to cart to purchase individually or again, you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and templates I come out with for $39 a year. Uh, so you might be wondering how I priced these templates, and I basically priced them according to what widgets are used. So if you were to purchase each of these widgets individually, um, it would come to around uh, that price. So it kind of makes sense to get the subscription because the template is included along with the widgets. Um, but yeah, if you did want to purchase it, purchase it individually, you do get access to these widgets, and that's kind of how... Uh, I price it out there as well. Okay, so here I'll go ahead and click on preview so we can take a look at the template. And we start off with a video. So it's a, a really nice way to engage uh, you know, your visitors with a nice video. If you have a restaurant, um, you can take a short video and you can place it within the complete video widget. Um, I'm gonna read you know, all the details about the, the template in a second, but I just wanna showcase it uh, really quick first. Um, so yeah, it's just a really nice uh, you know, homepage. You can click on our menus and it'll go to the menu page and we have another video at the top that's using the complete video widget the the banner for the video banner from the, the complete video widget and if we scroll down we have a nice menu layout here so you know we have food and we have drinks and looks good not to make you hungry but yeah this is the uh, the menu here the the food and drink menu so all of this is really replaceable within the template. You can change the text and just really customize it for your own uh, restaurant website. All right, so let's go to the navigation. This, this part is really cool. If you click on navigation, we have this really interesting navigation. Uh, we're using the smooth text reveal hover box widget here. Um, so you can go through, you can click on the arrows to go through the different menu items. And let's say I were to go to reservations and contact, I could click here. And then yeah, the smooth text reveal hover box shows up and you click and here we have the contact page. Another video here with the uh, complete video video banner. Okay, so there we have the video, we scroll down. So what's great about this template is it links out to OpenTable. So if I were to click here, we go to opentable.com and you can set up an account with OpenTable uh, to accept reservations for your restaurant. Uh, so it's really cool. You can you know have visitors uh, reserve a table and they're good to go when they go to your restaurant. Okay, so there we have, that was the reservations and contact. We can go to Chef, uh, Chef Adam Jones. We have the, the chef page here, or it's part of the, um, the Our Story uh, link. So here's Our Story as another video. So there's the video banner and looks good. And then we have a really nice kind of showcase of different menu, uh, different food items. And here we have, you know, drink, and uh, you know more information about the restaurant and we have the chef as well all right so it looks good so if you're a restaurant owner this could be a really great template to showcase your restaurant to accept reservations and to showcase the menu um, if you didn't want to have video you could just replace this top here with an image and it would still look really good all right so it looks good that's the wolfsville restaurant and bar uh, template uh, you can download it, and um, or when you download it, it comes in a zip file. All the assets are included. Um, yeah, the Muse file, and yeah, everything you need to get started with uh, creating your own restaurant website. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the restaurant or to the template page. All right, so I'll go back here, and let's just uh, I'll just read the template features here. 
Uh, so it's fluid with design. Uh, it's responsive for desktop, tablet, and mobile. There's a maximum of five breakpoints per page. Uh, it links out to OpenTable to accept table reservations. The pages are organized within the layers panel. There are four main pages, home, menus, our story, contact, yeah, and contact. Uh, there's one master page. Uh, it's fully customizable. Assets are included and it's for Adobe Muse 2018 and later. So here are the widgets we're using, the smooth text reveal hoverbox widget, the Muse motion widget, the tooltip widget, the complete video widget, full screen and video banner, the browser centering widget, and the scroll bar style widget. Uh, so all these widgets are included within the template and you're good to go. You can just you know switch out images, uh, information, yeah, switch out information as well. Uh, to customize it for your own restaurant website. Okay, so one thing that I didn't go over uh, is the responsiveness. Uh, it's fully responsive for desktop, tablet, and mobile. Uh, as you resize, we can see uh, the layout of the site changes. And what's great about uh, this video here is that on you know mo tablet and mobile devices that require user input to play the video, uh, a play button will show, and they can just hit the play button to play the video on the device, and it'll play inline it won't go into full screen and they can watch the video right on their device. So the reason why devices don't always autoplay video is because sometimes users are using data on their phone and uh, you don't want to automatically consume that data with video. Video is a lot larger than uh, images. Sometimes, you know, sometimes it's not too much larger, but usually it's larger than an image. So that takes more data. And that's the reason it doesn't automatically pl automatically play on uh, devices. So the user has to manually click the play. They have to say, okay, yeah, I want to watch the video, so I'm going to hit the play button. All right, so that's the uh, restaurant template. I'm going to go to sizzy.co so we can take a look um, at the restaurant template across different width devices. All right, so I'll go to our menus and I'll copy this link here. And let's see how it looks like in Sizzy. I'll hit Command V to paste and hit the arrow there to go to the site. So we can see the site on different width devices. So we have an iPhone 4, an iPhone 5, iPhone 6, iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone, uh, iPad Air, uh, Nexus 6P, Galaxy S4, Nexus 7, and looks good. So we can go through and perfect. So the menu looks really nice on different width devices. Uh, we have the, yeah, the food menu, the drinks menu. Uh, so it makes it really easy for the user to see what you're serving at your restaurant. All right, so it looks good. I'm not, I'm not gonna go through all the other pages just to save some time for this video, uh, but I am really excited about this template. Um, I think it's great for restaurant owners who want to showcase uh, their restaurant in a really nice way. All right, so that's it. Um, yeah, and then we have open table to accept reservations. All right, looks good. So that is the restaurant template. Um, it can be found at museforyoushop.com. Let me just uh, go back here probably the third time I've gone here but uh, let's go here and there we have it the restaurant template looks good so let's move on to the next update or the next thing that I've released this week uh, and that's the Muse Motion update so I'm really excited about this update you can now do a lot with the Muse Motion widget um, you're probably wondering about the Muse Motion 2 widget um, I do have a lot to say about that and I will be updating it but I'm kind of curious as to how I'm going to approach that in a sense. Um, you can let me know if you like how the Muse Motion 2 works. Um, I just thought there were too many um, too many widgets to be added to Muse to, to create a motion. And also the idea of adding unlimited motions, it's a cool idea, but as I work more with Adobe Muse, um, to me less is more. Less is becoming more, right? You can have subtle animations, subtle um, things being added to the site and some of my kind of heavier widgets or widgets that have kind of multiple widgets included in them um, I'm refraining or I'm kind of seeing that that less is more you know like being able to add one widget like with the Muse Motion widget you can add one widget and create a sliding down parallax menu and I love that because it's just one widget is just so powerful um, so yeah when I first started developing widgets I was really ambitious and Muse Motion 2 kind of represents that to me. Um, I might revisit it and I have been writing down things that I want to kind of improve upon it um, and things I want to rework. So I do have ideas for it, but right now I'm, I'm super excited about the Muse Motion widget. Um, if you're a subscriber, you've noticed that I've been updating it a lot 
and it's just a super powerful widget right now. Um, and that's why I've included it um, as the first widget in my shop. If we go back to uh, the, the uh, widgets page, it's actually the first widget here. And the Muse Motion 2 um, is not available for individual purchase uh, because yeah, I'm kind of looking at uh, how how I want to approach the update. And I, I know I do want to update it, but if I uh, once the update does come out, I want it to be um, something that really improves upon the Muse Motion widget or offers uh, some some extra thing that the Muse Motion might not offer. And one thing might be the 3D function. Um, that might be the only thing that I add. So I might kind of rework it to be like the Muse Motion widget and just add the 3D functionality. So yeah, that's uh, I said all that just to kind of say that the Muse Motion right now is a super powerful widget and I like it, um, you know, kind of more than the Muse Motion 2 widget. And so I'm really focusing a lot on this widget at the moment. Um, I have gotten a bit of feedback on it, but that's just my take on it. Uh, less is becoming more for me. So, you know, being able to add subtle animations to the site and make it look really nice, um, that's becoming more kind of attractive to me and, and kind of a better idea. And so the Muse Motion kind of, in, kind of in, encapsulates that idea of adding really beautiful animations um, and, and powerful, you know, things within Muse uh, without kind of overdoing it in a sense. Uh, hopefully that made sense. That was just kind of a rant, but that was kind of my uh, approach to, to how I'm updating these widgets. All right, so let's go into the Muse Motion update. So I'll go into here and let's go to the change log right down here. So it's now Muse Motion 1.5. So the things that have been added is the on scroll with reverse option for the motion start. Uh, this allows you to trigger the motion when the page is scrolled a certain amount. When the page is less than the scrolled amount, the motion will play in reverse. Um, added creating a sliding down parallax menu documentation. Um, I did release that video yesterday, so um, you've probably seen, seen that video. Um, the on scroll option has been added to the color widgets, so you can now change the color of elements on scroll. Uh, certain, certain options are now disabled if they do not pertain to a specific motion start. This makes it easier to navigate through the widget options when working with the widget. Uh, there's the ability to end the motion, restart the motion, or reverse the motion when the element exits the viewport for the on-scroll option. The Amuse Motion Various widget was removed as the same motions can be applied with the Amuse Motion 12 motions widget. And there's updated code within the widget. Um, so those are the updates. I'm not going to go and kind of, uh, you know, showcase it within Muse. I'll create other video tutorials on that. But I did release um, a video tutorial yesterday on creating a sliding down parallax menu. So one thing that I also released with the, the video tutorial was a whole documentation on what I covered in the tutorial. So if we go back to the weekly update, the third one was sliding down menu documentation. So I'll go back into here and I'll go to the documentation. So let me showcase what the sliding down parallax menu uh, does. So here I have an example site. I'm actually using uh, a page from the restaurant template. And if we notice, if I scroll down, we have this menu appear from the top. So when uh, Muse was just scroll effects and adaptive design, uh, this video was really popular on how to create this menu that comes down when the user scrolls up or when the user scrolls down, yeah, the menu appears. Um, so yeah, I'm scrolling down and you can see the menu. But when scroll effects were disabled for fluid width design, um, this wasn't possible yet with the scroll effects. So I got this request quite often or, you know, a few times, how do I create the menu coming down? And now with the Muse Motion, uh, you can do that. So um, I'm going to link the tutorial I created or I came out with yesterday in the show more section below. Um, and I think I'll include the documentation as well. So you can take a look uh, at that as well. So you can, you know, change it on different breakpoints as well. So here we have the menu and then on the lower breakpoints, uh, it's just the logo type there, and it also reveals when you scroll down the page. Okay, so that's the sliding down parallax menu. Um, it's a really fun effect, and it can really um, kind of have the user focus in on the menu as they're scrolling down. I have seen this on a lot of websites, and it's a really cool effect. Uh, you can have the menu appear as the user scrolls down. Scrolls down. All right, so here we have the documentation. It outlines step by step with images on how to create the sliding down parallax menu with the Muse Motion widget. Um, and there's actually not that many steps. Um, it's fairly simple. And that's kind of why, you know, I'm so excited about the Muse Motion widget, because you can do these really powerful things on your website or really cool things 
uh, just with one widget. Uh, to create that menu, it just requires one widget, uh, one motion uh, from the Muse motion, and a state button within Adobe Muse. All right, so that's basically it. Um, that's all for this week. Uh, super excited uh, about releasing you know, these new updates, these templates. Um, I've gotten a lot of great feedback. Uh, so you guys have been great. Um, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with Muse. And it's kind of like my vision is coming uh, more into reality. When I first started developing widgets and you know, getting into Muse, I, I saw the possibility of it. So yeah, I've been making video tutorials for about three years and widgets for about two. And the more I work on them, the more um, I, it just expands Adobe Muse for me. Like I can really see it being like a super powerful uh, program. And what I would love to see for the future of Muse is kind of like a CMS system built into Adobe Muse. Um, I think that would just be awesome. Um, but I would want it to come from the Adobe Muse team and the Adobe team, um, you know, because that just makes it all in-house. A lot of my widgets are in-house. I try not to like go crazy with third-party services um, because the idea of like making the front end beautiful is kind of what I love to do and incorporating these really, really amazing scripts into Muse. Um, I love doing that and kind of expanding the functionality of Adobe Muse. Um, so yeah, that's it for these updates, for this weekly update. I kind of uh, went on a bit on a few topics, but yeah, I'm really passionate about Adobe Muse and creating widgets. I do this like all day, every day, and you guys have been great. Uh, it's been a lot of fun making tutorials. Um, I know some of my tutorials are kind of dry, just straight information. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of fun developments for Muse for you, and I'm really excited to do more video tutorials release more widgets and help you do more with Adobe Muse. Okay, so that's it for this weekly update, the restaurant template Muse motion update, the sliding down parallax menu documentation. So that's it for this video. Uh, in the show more section below, you can find the video to the sliding down parallax menu uh, tutorial I released yesterday, along with the documentation um, and links to museforyoushop.com. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. Muse for you, awesome websites without code.